Um, okay, they finally released. Actually, the uh, the American No Health Care Act was not released by the Republicans. It escaped. I can't imagine that sane people put this fucking thing out and expected to be. But you know what? <laughs> They sold us Donald Trump as president, so apparently they think we're pushovers now. And I just, before we get to uh, Pete, our guest, I just wanted to to go down the, the few notes that I took here. When they explained on television, as best they all could, exactly what the fuck that they are doing with all of our health care. Uh, because the, the, they they had to submit this to the Congressional Budget Office, which is bipartisan or nonpartisan or whatever, they're not beholden to either side. The current head of the Congressional Budget Office, especially for those international cult of Cornette members, was appointed by the Republicans. So it's not like he's, you know, he's fucking anti-GOP, but they're supposed to be straight down the middle. Congressional Budget Office, they crunch the numbers, do the facts and figures. When, when the Democrats passed Obamacare, then the congressional, the GOP, the Republicans said, you got to run this by the Congressional Budget Office. We need to see the numbers. These people are the ones that determine the numbers. So they loved them eight years ago, right? Now they're like, oh, these fucking guys, they're not paying any attention. They don't know what they're talking about. The Congressional Budget Office has determined that in the next 10 years, and most of them in the next year, but over the next 10 years, 24 million people that now have insurance would be uninsured under the Republicans' plan. The government allegedly uh, would save $337 billion over those 10 years, maybe, because this we, I heard people doing the math, and it's very kabuki-ish, and it, 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 it takes into account uh, deductibles and fucking tax rates and out-of-pocket increases, whatever the fuck. Um Medicaid would cover 14 million fewer people, fewer people. Uh, but now while the Congressional Budget Office uh, report in one part of it says that some people's premiums, and I don't know exactly how many, but some people's premiums would go down 10%. Thank you very much. The The big impact is on senior citizens where, wait a minute, I've got it here somewhere. I couldn't believe this until I wrote it down. Senior citizens' pre- premiums, including everybody over 47, so you're fucking close, motherfucker. Don't sit back there and go, ah, oh, Cornette's old. Uh, premiums for senior citizens would go up 20 to 25%. Um, the, the plan, there is twice as much money in the, in the plan in tax cuts for the wealthy, $592 billion in tax cuts for wealthy people who can afford to pay whatever the shit that this costs. But there's only $361 billion in tax credits for the middle class families. It takes away $170 billion from Medicare. Um, in 2026, if we kept Obamacare, a 64-year-old uh, person that earns $26,000 a year with these subsidies and whatever would pay $1,700 for his health care. Under this plan, he'd pay $14,600 fucking dollars. <laughs> this, and, and th- they have been talking about this for eight years. You dumb motherfuckers, dumb motherfuckers. As Dennis Condry said, when he was standing up on the scaffold in the Omni with the road warriors about to be killed, we're dumb motherfuckers. You've been talking about this for eight years. Repeal and bl- replace Obamacare. You've been bragging about it, how you'd rip it up and start over and give it the, 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 the give us the good stuff. You're giving us the good stuff, all right. For fuck's sake, the, the Tom Price is the Secretary of Health and Human Services. He denies everything. Everything. He denies it. This is going to be wonderful. It's going to be huge. It's going to be great. Even the fucking experts on TV can't explain to anybody in a cohesive and coherent fashion what all these plans do and don't do. So it apparently it comes down to who do you trust with your health, not just your health care, but your health. And I don't trust Donald Trump or any of the people that are trying to sell me this fucking plan with my health, my money, or my property. For fuck's sake, and didn't President Fleshbag, Brian, I've slept since then, didn't President Fleshbag just say a while ago, I'm not going to take away anybody's insurance, and all the premiums are going to go down? He said insurance for everyone. 
And well, in in ten years from now, six years after he leaves office, at at minimum, fifty eight million people in this country will be uninsured. And this is also, by the way, with the restructuring of the various machinations, the way the financial markets work with this thing and healthcare and everything. Six hundred billion dollars is getting transferred from families to billionaires and corporations in in terms of cash and credits and cuts and tax and incentives and things and such and carrying on. And they thought that they that people just weren't going to fucking notice that. Like when Thurston Shitbag the Third says he's not talking to his father about the business. Of course he's not. Look at the pretty pony. It is. <sighs> Fuck. So this is eight years, and this was the best they could do. I just wanted to bring everybody up to date on that and remind everybody of that. So this is what <laughs> sooner or later I'm going to make Trump people start fucking jumping off fucking tall buildings that voted for this dipshit when they start realizing right in front of their eyes what the fuck's going to go on here. <laughs> 